doing? I didn't say anything, I swear. You had to. You were with him too often. Ah! Special. Come on, Joe. Just because a girl's lying on the ground doesn't mean rape was the only motive. Well, how about for starters? Ah, oh, Captain. How is she? You worked her over pretty well. What brings you down here on this frigid morning, Captain? Well, I heard you pick up the call on the car radio. You came down to chat? How nice. What do you think it was? Just like the others. Nurses, night, hospital close by, he found a fertile field. Back to the same place adds to his excitement. There's no way we can cover this place with all its entrances and underground tunnels. It's a fortification. I think he's an employee. At least that's what I'm working on. Well, the other girls weren't beaten up. The other girls were raped. Isn't that a beating, too? Detective Long? Excuse me, Captain. No time to chat. Long? No. You convinced me. You know this rape scene better than anyone in the area. You just convinced me again. You know the M.O.s, you know the patterns, you know the way these guys think. You know how their victims should be handled. Captain, you run a homicide unit. I am not into that scene. Long. <sighs> Suppose Kojak wasn't there. But he is, and you are, and you're into death, and what I'm into in the sex crime unit, I can understand. I know why I'm working there. Downtown wants a woman in homicide. It came up you. Captain, I will not work with that Greek bowling ball. There. Long, one word of warning. Our coffee is one step ahead of suicide. You're kidding. You told the commissioner you'd take all the help you could get and from any place you could get it. If he never listened to me before, why should he start now? Theo. She knows her business, and she knows this case. Frank, it won't work. Try. There's a personality conflict here. <laughs> 